today we're going to walk through a couple of opportunities that we have for you that we think you'll be very, very interested in. And we've worked really hard this year to take into account two things. One, your feedback throughout last year's program, Scope of Work, to make sure that we're continuing the programs that you are most interested in and seeing the most value in. We also want to make sure that we're continuing to lead the state. It's part of our mission statement. You'll hear Witt talk about it probably throughout the week. And so in that regard, we've got a lot of opportunities that are new this year that are things that hopefully you're looking at or have thought about doing that we maybe can make a little bit more accessible uh, through this program to you as well. So it's sort of a balance of the best of the best with some new opportunities sprinkled in. Here are the speakers you're going to hear from today. Uh, I'm going to kick it off and then hand it off to our team at LukeWire that's going to run through everything and then I'll be filling in for someone that couldn't make it later on, but I just want to say again that we're real excited you guys are here. Something else that's new this year, um, we're going to be offering discounts to Tier 1 partners and to Tier 2 partners. So if you're a Tier 1 partner, you off the top are now going to get 20% off any program in the co-op. You're also, if you're a Tier 2 partner, going to get off the top 10%. So those are some opportunities that we're putting out there that we're eating the cost on to help make these a little more accessible and affordable and to get more of our tier one and tier two counties to be able to participate in the program. So excited about that, saving you money. With that, let's just jump right in because we know there's a happy hour later tonight that we all want to go to. And I'm gonna kick it off by allowing uh, Christina Rogers, the content director for Luke Wire to take the stage, thanks. Welcome, everybody. I am so excited to start off with these two offerings. They're both new, and this is right within me and my team's wheelhouse. This is some of our favorite stuff. We love talking shop, and we also know that in this day and age, our uh, world as content marketers and storytellers changes every five seconds. It's a lot to keep up with. We as an integrated team at LukeWire, in close partnership with the integrated team at Visit North Carolina, are constantly reviewing trends, topics, algorithmic shifts, user behavior, channel shifts, everything that could possibly go different is different. And we're also looking at numbers and performance and engagement and those key metrics. So we are offering to bring that knowledge to you and we wanna engage and talk shop together. We're gonna to discuss any topics affecting the tourism industry broadly and what we're seeing and learning on Visit North Carolina's channels as well as in our research generally. So this is a wonderful opportunity to start to think about your own channels and maybe get some of that curated, helpful information that is so hard to track down and stay on top of. And also just to join with colleagues who are facing some of the similar challenges and similar questions that, that may you know, surround the content strategies that we all are working on. So this is open, we're gonna have four per year, so quarterly, which is about enough time to get a good collection of shifts and trends to talk about. We will be providing um, takeaways from it, key one-sheeters, so that you'll have that sort of cheat sheet guide from the webinar to take away. And um, there's no limit for participation. So we hope you'll join us. Going one step deeper, we're also offering up our team to do a in-depth social media audit of your channels. So this is not just general information and best practices and trends that we're seeing, but this is specific to your channels that any of the channels that you are currently on. So we're gonna look at everything from cadence to content, to audience, to engagements, to are your metrics the right metrics? Are you measuring success? How do you know when your content is doing the best it can possibly do? Well, we can identify unique opportunities that maybe you're not taking yet. We can also identify ones that you should lean into more. And we'll just dissect it and see where and when we can make optimizations together as a partner, extended partner of your team. Um, this is offered to five partners per year, and you can see the tiered pricing ranges from 1,200 to 1,500, depending on which tiered partner you are. All right, continuing with the social theme, let's talk about some of the partner programs. Here's a, here, I mean, some of the social programs. Here's a new one. This one is free. Who doesn't like that? And it's more reach for less work, so basic, or for the same amount of work. So basically, this means that your posts can live on both your own Instagram channel and the Visit North Carolina Instagram channel, and that means you get that expanded reach, that expanded chance for engagement with that post. Um, and this is available to any partners who participate in either our social media spotlight offering or our Instagram UGC offering. 
that spotlight I just mentioned. This is a popular one. You guys have seen them. We've been doing these, and they drive a lot of engagement. I think they're as much fun for our team to put together as they are for the, you know, the results that they drive. We will work with you to develop an itinerary that showcases up to, I th believe it's five locations or activities or experiences within your destination and put together content around that that we can then share out over the uh, Visit North Carolina social channels. Um, you'll see on the slide we get more than 465,000 followers right now and you'll also be able to see how it performs. We'll provide a report on the performance of that content so you can make your decisions informed. Um, the tiered pricing for this one ranges from 2000 to 2500 and it's limited to one partner per month. Uh, the Instagram UGC promotion, UGC, user generated content. This content is great because it's authentic. These are people who have been to your location and love your location and they've shared something on social about it. So if you opt into this program, then we go out and we find a piece of user generated content that is top quality, beautiful, authentic, experience based imagery and it lives on the Visit North Carolina feed. So that way people can like it, share it, or save it, engage with it. Um, and that's a great way to get that, that audience, those, those viewers that uh, I mentioned before, the followers. So this ranges from 800 to 1,000, depending on the tier. Our Instagram story feature, if you want to take it from the feed to the stories, you all know stories at this point. That they live for 24 hours. They show up in feed as a, you know, at any time one is new. And this is a great option, too, because there are a lot of... Um, low entry interactions you can drive. So whether it be polls or little questions you can have people answer, they can play with your post, they can have fun with you, you can ask them questions. You can also uh, tag locations. So there's a little bit of interactivity that comes with those stories that can be quite fun. And of course they can be uh, different formats for your, for your media as well. Um, these are limited to two per month and they range in price from 560 to 700, depending on the tier. Let's talk about the website. For those who may not have heard that, please do follow along in the booklet. If we did our work right, I think we did, our slide should follow the order of the booklet itself in front of you. So I'm going quickly through these because we have a lot of exciting things to cover. Um, but if you need to take notes, if you want to flag something with a question, we're going to be open for those in the end. So please do uh, follow along. And there's even more detail about what each, uh, what the details of each promotion is in there. All right, um, on our website, there's, we know travelers have different interests. We have set up the site to speak to those interests. You want to know that if your location has a wonderful, unique offering around a specific interest that you show up when someone's searching for it. So that's exactly what this promotion is set to do. Your, our interest overview pages are highly visited. You can imagine yourselves as travelers. You're, you have, you're gonna look for what you like to do there. So you wanna make sure that if you have something that might be of interest to someone in a niche audience that you show up. And the specific interest overviews or interests of which there are overview pages, they're listed in, in your brochure as well. Um, you know, you can think about things like around beer and wine and, or food and drink and, and different interest areas. Um, these are open to, let's see, they range from 1,200 to 1,500 and they are um, open to two partners per year per page. So that's per interest overview page for a six month flight. Uh, similar but different, we've got a seasonal overview page. Now this one, is also highly highly visible, highly trafficked. This one is actually linked to from our homepage. If you go on the homepage now, you'll see there's a seasonal overview module. So uh, while well, all of these pages are highly searchable, visited, trafficked, this one even gets that homepage real estate. And you would make sure that your destination shows up if you have a unique offering or just a can't miss, must know about for a specific season, you can have it um, as part of our seasonal over overview page feature. Now, it's searchable year round. It's not limited to the season that it's in, but the homepage will turn over as the seasons turn over. So it'll still be searchable in things to do in other areas of the site, but it won't be necessarily um, on the homepage beyond the season that you, that you elect. So this is uh, one partner per season, um, plus a holiday option. So there are five different uh, seasonal overview pages that you could opt for, and they range from 1,600 to 2,000, depending on the tier. Native advertising. 
Um, I'm sure all of you have probably been to the Things to Do page, whether it's on our site or one, you may have one similar. There's a lot of different options for trip inspiration. The, it, on the Visit North Carolina site, it's tiles. And so if you search for a specific thing to do, you get a lot of different options. And you all, with this option, can pay to make sure that your destination is in that filtered search result toward the very top so that people are not missing out on uh, what you have to offer based around their, what they're looking to do. So our Things to Do page is our most popular page on the website, so it's absolutely a captive audience. Um, we limit this to five partners per content page, but there are multiple content pages, so no, no issue there in terms of getting, um, getting visibility. And um, this ranges from 400 to 500, depending on the tier. Oh, our featured events and travel deals. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We have featured events and travel deals pages, and you can have your event or travel deal featured on those pages. Um, so these are pretty affordable options and range from, uh, let's see, the, the featured events are 120 to 150, and the travel deals are 200 to 250. So certainly great to have your wonderful offerings included there. In addition to the website, we've got e-news programs. And then we have multi-channel ones coming up, guys. This is just very exciting. So let's start with email. Um, I love this option. This is, we have, we are starting a new content series that's go, you've probably noticed that our emails look different. Um, we have recently redesigned them. We've redone the entire email strategy. Um, they're shifting in both our approach to it as well as the look of it. Um, what they're not shifting in is our amazing subscriber list of more than 120,000. It's more than doubled since last year. And we also have this new option for, for what we're calling for real content series. And what that is is a content series that's going to highlight authentic, real experiences, those, those ones that make North Carolina, North Carolina. Um, and in opting into this, this program, you'll make sure that your destination is part of that series. It'll be a standing part of every email that goes out and the emails go out monthly. Um, so this is uh, open to four places, partner places for a year and um, range from 800 to 1,000 depending on the tier. Another email option that's great is anyone who signs up for a travel guide or opts in to receive emails from us gets a thank you email, as they should. And you can be on that thank you email. You can be the sponsor of that thank you email with a URL that clicks through to your destination. So we've had a lot of people, I think we've had close to 1,000 people sign up for the travel guide just in January, something like that. I'll confirm those numbers. But we've had a lot of interest in both the email signups. I already mentioned how our list has grown. And now the travel guide is gaining a lot of interest as well. So this email would certainly get you some good reach to a very captive audience. The pricing here ranges from 280 to 350. And uh, let's see, we have four partner spots, um, so one per quarter with the thank you. So I'm obviously very excited about these programs, um, but I'll stop talking for a minute. I want to, you know, you could trust me. I hope you do. But I'd love for you to hear from Cindy Sutton in Statesville for um, her experience with our partner programs. Wow, this is way too soon in the presentation. <laughs> um, well. As they said, I'm Cindy Sutton, uh, Executive Director for the Statesville Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm a newer Executive Director. I came on board, not new anymore, Russell, but 18, 18 months ago, so this is my second conference. And um, Statesville had kind of fallen off, fallen off the map um, in tourism. There was an Executive Director there for 10 years. So one of the first things we did was kind of evaluate where do we start. And the first call I made was to wit. Tuttle, um, who made sure I knew everything that was happening, and uh, talked to the board, and we decided that we shouldn't do anything else if we didn't partner with what tourism in our own state was doing first. Um, so we, we quickly onboarded and um, started participating in some of these partner programs. I'd say we participate in, oh, I don't know, 60, maybe 70 percent of them now. Um, and there hasn't been a single one that's failed us yet. So I don't, I don't know if this is good for the testimonial, but I'll just say don't fill this out before I do because I don't want you to take the spots that I want for the, up <laughs> <laughs> for the upcoming year. But um, as a, we're, we're a small um, convention and visitors bureau, basically a team of one and a half. Um, time is very limited, and I would say when I feel like I can't do it anymore, uh, 
this team lifts me up and doesn't let me forget and make sure I turn it in and get it done to keep us top of mind. So thank you. Thank you, Cindy. We appreciate you. That's awesome. All right. Appreciate that. Sorry to bring that on you. But that's exactly what we hope to be. We love partnering with partners for this exact reason. Um, I mentioned we'd have some multi-channel options. So if you're kind of thinking through which might be the right choice, then maybe you don't have to choose either or. Let's see what we've got here. We've got um, our e-news insider authorship. This is new and this is a big one, you guys. This is giving over the reins to that email. We will work with you to have you author the Visit North Carolina email that year, so you, that month. So your destination, you'll actually be the face of the email. We've shifted to an authored email series. This is part of our, our efforts to be more authentic, be more people forward, more personalized and personable in the emails that we send. We're doing a lot of work behind the scenes to bring that to life even more over the course of the next year. But authorship is a key part of it and already engagement with those types of authored emails has skyrocketed. So this is an opportunity for you as a destination to be the lead voice for that that monthly e-newsletter. Um, our e-newsletter sees open rates of over 30 and even 40%, which is huge. So it's people are looking forward to it and they're engaging with it when it arrives. Um, this is open to two different types of authorship. So you can either be the solo author or you can be one of a trio of authors, um, depending on what you know, what works for your capacity and your pricing and your interest level there. And all of the emails will click through to a detailed landing page too. So it takes them from the email to a web page de designed for that, to complement that email with additional links and content. So this starts uh, at 840 and uh, ranges from 840 to 1050. Um, also in the email, we bring those featured events and travel deals. We're going to start doing um, roundups so that we're, 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 we have data and insights that let us know people really do look for those sort of roundup style emails. They engage with them. They like to plan around them and with them as they're thinking about their year or their trips. So in this case, your, your featured events and travel deals can be featured in the seasonal roundups. These go out per quarter and um, we... Uh, the pricing ranges from 320 to 400. So again, another affordable option to get those travel deals and those those events in front of a captive audience of people who are signaling an intent to travel. Um, our custom content. This is something that is uh, primarily, you know, the custom content piece lives on the Visit North Carolina website, uh, but it does get it's in the multi-channel section because it does get promoted across our social channels and it gets included in the monthly e-newsletter. So it's the custom content piece that lives on the website, but it certainly has a reach and a different uh, channel strategy and across, across all of the owned channels for Visit North Carolina. Um, so if you choose to have a custom content piece, it gets shared out from the site. Um, we allow this for a, a one partner per month and the pricing ranges from 2,400 to 3,000. We will work with you to get that piece written. So you don't have to feel that you need to write it yourself. Our team will, will work with you to find out the ideas for the custom content and put it together with you. If you've already taken advantage of our custom content option, um, and I hope many, I know many of you have, um, and are happy with it, but maybe your piece needs a little bit of a refresh, whether it's uh, information in there may be out of date, maybe you want to swap out uh, one detail for another, whatever it may be, we do offer a, a you know, less expensive refresh option. So the structure of your piece would remain the same. Uh, you'd still have the integrity of that URL for your piece, any of, the, any of the good traffic that it's already seen, but you can make some updates to optimize the content for yourself. And this starts at uh, one, one, 1,100, I think that's typo, sorry, 1,100, and it ranges up to 1,250. Um, and we allow one partner refresh per month. One partner per month. All right. Ah, featured event Instagram story roundup. Another roundup. People engage with roundups. They like it. They like to see what all is out there. It's a great cross-section of what's going on in our state. So if you'd like to have your event included in our, in Visit North Carolina's Instagram story roundup, this one is another uh, really great option to get, capitalize on all of that reach and engagement. And, you know, you think about how people uh, see things on social. They, they share with friends. They log it away. They want to come back to it. They want to make plans. So this would be um, ranging from, this is open to five partners, 
of between January and October and 10 partners between November and December. We know there's a lot of events going on in November and December, so we didn't want to have something be you know, too limiting at that time of year. Um, so this starts at 280 and ranges to, from 280 to 350. Open to five, uh, yeah, I said five and 10. Okay, perfect. We also have a way to feature and promote events on Facebook for you. Um, this one, in addition to having your Facebook event created, we also will pr put $500 worth of promotion behind it. And that's going to target audiences, um, really maximizing the, the work that that event post is doing for you. Um, this is open to two partners per month and ranges from 700 to 875, depending on the tier. We also promote um, travel deals on Facebook, similar, but this one has $1,000 of paid media support behind it. So this is, um, we would set it up similarly, we'd put the post together for you, we'd put the $1,000 of paid promotion with our media team behind it, and um, this is open to one partner per month starting at 1100 and ranging up to 1375 You can also sponsor featured content. So we were talking about um, our content, our different contents around different uh, themes and topics and interest areas. And this is a great way to ensure, again, that your content appears in uh, to the audience members who are interested in that type of content. So um, whether it be around a specific season or a specific theme, whatever the custom content piece on the website is featuring, you wanna make sure you show up in that, this is a great option for you. These also get posted on our, our Instagram and um, you know, so the, the reach goes well beyond the website alone. Um, this is open to one partner per content category. The categories, I believe, are listed in the program and uh, starts at 800, ranging to 1,000. All right, Brooks is next. Right. Here you go. Sweet, Thanks, thank you. Thanks, Christina. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Yeah! Great to see so many partners, excited to be here. Love being in person. I know we all try to do this here. I think three years ago, pandemic happened, but we made it and we're here and excited to see so many. I look forward to catching up with you guys. We had to bring other faces and voices up here. We have so many programs this year. I couldn't ask Christina just to stand up here and go through them all. You're welcome for your very own um, Visit NC sponsored version of War and Peace. We had to bind the book this year. So many programs. So hang in there with us. We're going through them. Okay. I'm going to talk about uh, some video photography production assets and programs that we have for you guys to take advantage of. First one is a new program where we will come to your destination for a content shoot to capture photography and video assets that you can utilize on your own social channels, on your website. We'll work with you on and, and um, consult with you on where and how to feature those assets. This is different than what Christina talked about from a social spotlight where we also come into your destination and capture photo assets and video assets, but then we feature those on our visitnc.com. Um, visit and see social channels, this would be different. You would have access to use these on your social channels or on your website as you see fit. Prices range between 800 and 2000 depending on uh, the tier level that you're at. Another new program is photo and video editing. So if you already have assets and want our team to take a look at those and edit those for your use, either from a photography editing standpoint or video editing. So if you have video and you don't have access to editors and house or a production team, this is where we can help you out, and we'd be happy to do that for you. If you have those assets, we'd work directly with you. Prices range from a tier perspective of 720 to 2400. We have five partner spots to take advantage of this program. This is a program that we have been doing um, that's coming back that partners take advantage of year after year, where, where the, we would come in and produce a full suite video for you to be able to utilize. So think voiceover, music, the, the rights to the video, we can do cut down versions for you. This would be a, a long format video. These have been ranged anywhere from 90 seconds to five minutes long, depending on what partners are trying to cover. Um, think of use for this on your website, cut down versions on social, um, needing to get up in front of um, organizations like this to speak and show a video before you come up or your board. Um, it ranges how we do this, and we have four uh, partner spots ranging at $8,000 to $10,000 de depending on the tier that you're with. 
We're talking about a lot of programs here today. Nicole's gonna go into some more in a little bit that range from a paid media perspective where you would need to supply um, digital assets or print assets to take advantage of those programs. We have this creative production program that you can take advantage of if you don't have access to an in-house designer, um, access to your own marketing agency that you work with, we essentially would be happy to work with you in that format on behalf of Visit NC to help produce those assets for you. We don't want you not being able to take advantage of some of the co-op programs that we're talking about and presenting today because you don't have access to in-house um, creative team members or designers or access to your own agency. You can leverage Visit NC's agency for us to be able to do these for you. So from a, a digital perspective, those range from 2880 to 3600 if you're entering or you're, you're participating in a digital program. And if you want to participate in the print co-ops that we're offering or just you're doing any other print programs on your own and need help with those assets, we're happy to do that as well from the, the print ad options here. Next up in our paid spokesperson, I mean partner testimonial um, offer <laughs> that we're doing today, I want to call out uh, David Joyner who has taken advantage of some of the programs that Addis went to so you can hear it from him versus hearing it from us talking up here. David, thanks. Thanks, Brooks. Good afternoon. Um, I was not paid. Um, I'm about to say some very nice things, and just so you know, when you hear me finish, I should have been paid, but, you know. <laughs> I'll talk about that later. for the state. Um, and, I, and to put it in context so you can understand how proud we were of working with them and the phenomenal job they did, um, I, our company, the sports facilities company, manages venues all over the country. We run the run in Rocky Mountain. I'm the general manager of it. Uh, it is the most political venue, uh, when I mean political as in crazy, uh, what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So we approach marketing from a lot of different facets. Uh, we have to accomplish a lot of different things because a lot of different people are watching us, criticizing it. Uh, we have like three different entities we have to please. So when we embarked on this video, we really needed to get it right. And uh, this is another thing, just so you know, I'm not lying because it pains me to say when I called Wit about it, I don't even like Wit. Wit and I argue all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have what could arguably described as a like-hate relationship. Um, but when I called him, he said, you need to do it through Brooks and his team. Um, so I called Brooks um, and, and, you know, we emailed about it and we set it up with their team and the, what was important for us was the story, right? And every, you know, you'll hear that all the time about storytelling, but you know, I just wanna say all of our communities, the stories matter because there's people. We're telling the stories of people, you know, the makers and the people who you know, pick themselves up and make things happen. That's the story, the small business owners, all those people that provide those experiences for our tourists. And so we wanted to make sure that in our community that is heavily divided, a city split by two counties, um, the, the railroad track was the segregation line, as you do, you know, um, and, and, you know, we wanted to get that right. And so when they came down, and we, even in the, the, the planning phase, I was impressed uh, how they listened, how they took down notes, how they made sure we had a schedule and itinerary. But the day when they came, and in my life before I was asked to step into this role, I did marketing for a hotel management company, uh, and, then, and then I had my own firm before the city and county asked me to do this. And... I was really critical. We wanted to get this video video right. We see a lot of videos all the time, and they're usually cheesy or weird or dumb, and I wanted this to be like really, really good. And uh, when the camera people came, and when they got out, and the equipment they had, but just more importantly, they had took the time to understand our story. And all day long, we went across the community, and it, we did a full day shoot. The drone shots were incredible. Um, the, the, the way they didn't just do it and leave, they wanted to make sure it was right. We would, we would stay there until we got that shot right. Uh, and I was really proud of it. And I, so I can tell you as, a, as somebody who went into it, you know, very critical, we were very proud. We've shown that video across the state. Uh, we've received a lot of accolades for that video. We are, we're members of the Association of Executives of North Carolina. Every time I, we sponsor an event, they play it before I get up there. And so I, I can tell you hell, hands down, this team cares, and it's because you have people who understand your stories, and they want to make sure the story matter, but also their professionalism, their expertise, uh, their skill at doing the work is, is absolutely phenomenal, and I was proud of it. We're going to do another one, and I better get a discount after all of that, I just said. <laughs> um, but I, I cannot say enough about it. Um, to, even before I left, we had a meeting, uh, and the Secretary of State was there, and she came in, and I was about to tell her what we had, and she said, I saw that video on your, on your website. She was like, it was incredible. You know, and, and that's just something that makes you proud. So I, I cannot speak 
proudly enough about what they've done, and uh, I, you really should take opportunity to get it. Thank you. Well, damn, David, you start making me tear up on stage right now. I mean, you went way off script. Now I am going to have to pay a shoot. Um, no, thank you. That, and that's why we're here, to help tell the stories, tell the story for you guys. Um, we want to make sure we get that right. So please take the time to visit with our team while we're here uh, over the next couple of days and after the session. So we do understand who you are, what you're trying to promote, the audiences you're trying to reach. That's what we're here for on behalf of Visit NC, working with you. Um, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome to the stage our very own uh, Director of Research at Visit North Carolina, Marlise Taylor. Y'all, you don't know how good you have it to have Marlise working on behalf of the state from a research and analytics perspective. She is incredible. Take advantage of her as much as you can in terms of information gathering. She didn't know I was going to say this with her coming up here, but it's, it's phenomenal the work that she's doing. And we've grown the research program from a co-op perspective. There's so much to go through. That's why I'm going to step off the stage because I can't talk about it like she can. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to her. Thanks. Are you going to make me cry now? Thank you, Brooks. So I was, he kind of stole what I was going to say just a little bit, and I'm going to use this because I do have some notes that I need to look at, but um, let's see if I can do this. Um, for those of you who have been coming to this conference as long as I have, do you remember when there were no research co-ops? Right? We have six research co-ops with five partners this year, with five vendors this year. So I'm really excited about that to bring that to you. So let's get started. If I can. There we go. So last year was our first year with our Zardico um, Visitor Insights, and we got quite a few partners last year. So we're doing this again, and we have insights into our economy using a geolocation, you know, cell phone device counts, and credit card data that we've never had before, and it's almost real time for you. So um, you'll be able to see how your destination compares to the state in terms of in-state versus out-of-state visitation. You'll be able to look at which months are slowest or, or best or busiest for you and compared to the state. You'll be able to see why or how your visitation, your spending trends compared to the state, looking at your top origin markets, your top spending uh, markets. And um, what's really cool is you can look at your top spending markets versus your top origin markets to see if those who come the most actually spend the most. So I think that's really cool. So these are set up in a static monthly report. So this is not real-time data for you, but you will get a, a monthly report. Um, and the cost goes from five to 6,000 depending on your tier. So if you have questions about this, please come to me about this and I will get you set up. Next is our Arrivalist Co-op. So Arrivalist actually has two co-ops this year. So these offerings have gone through a lot of changes in the past couple of years, um, reflecting the, the needs of you, the DMOs, and, and how you've changed through the crisis and recovery. So first of all, Visit NC is rolling out the Arrivalist Horizon Co-op. In Q4 of last year, Arrivalist released Horizon, and this is a visual first decision engine for travel and tourism. In this co-op, you're going to receive an offer to a platform or, or participation in a platform where you'll get charts, graphs, maps, uh, rankings uh, that will help you tell stories specific to who, when, where, how long, how much. So this layout uh, and the data presentation are all new for this year. The annual cost is th of this is based on your tier ranking, but range around the 19000 per year. The second co-op, also from Arrivalist, is the lodging module, and we talked a little bit about this last year, but this, this data integrates not just hotel lodging metrics and vacation rental, but you're also able to see where visitors spend the night, even if they're staying with friends and family, and how that varies by origin market time of year um, and segmentation. The investment for this is also around the 19,000 level. Um, with a one-time setup fee. So for this participation, you're going to want to talk to our agency partner, Luke Wire, and specifically, I believe Kylie is going to be that contact for you. This is, I think, the third year we have done an MMGY co-op. So our friends at MMGY Travel Intelligence do a portrait of American travelers quarterly now. It used to be an annual report. It's quarterly now. We participate in it at the state level, but MMGY is offering... Um, 
attendees to this conference a special 33% savings compared to their regular report prices. So this um, offer does expire the end of June, so you want to take advantage of this as soon as you can. But this uh, report will be given to you with up to five custom banners, and you can work with MMGY to define those specific data filters that you want that work for you. So for that, um, for that project is $10,000, and you're going to want to talk to Chelsea Bachman, and her information is in your booklet. But if you have questions about the study itself, feel free to come to me and, and ask questions, but we're going to run that straight through MMGY Travel Intelligence. I'm so excited about this one. Scott and I have been really like wanting to tell you guys about this one so badly. So this is a new co-op, new research co-op this year. So some of you may know, we've been working with a company called Smarry Insights, and, and many of you probably uh, work with them or know about them. But we understand that a challenge, a particular challenge for you, our DMO partners, is to understand your competitive image and position in the marketplace. So this research co-op is going to provide each destination partner with an analysis of your brand image and position in the context of competing destinations in key market areas. So you're going to see results such as a competitive of analysis, uh, past visitation, awareness of your visitation, um, ratings on your destination, uh, a perceptual map to help you visualize the, the perceptions of your destination, and more. I could, I could go on. I really have more bullets that I won't, <laughs> I won't go through each of them, but a really good description is in your booklet. We are so excited about this. Uh, we will survey in four key geographic areas, the Northeast, the Southeast, the Midwest, and then in-state, because we know many of you are partners market to uh, consumers within the state. So the investment for this is 8,000 per partner, and we need at least four of you to field this research. So if you have questions about this particular project, please see me at some point. You can email me or, or we can talk during this week. Finally, uh, we brought this back for the know, third or fourth year, I think, but key data. Uh, we're offering this again from one of our lodging partners. And for those of you who have been using key data, they've really expanded their offerings and uh, really improved and, and made a lot of new um, um, changes, uh, good changes to their dashboard program. But they have an online platform that makes visualizing your lodging data easier. So um, they have more than 30 KPIs, like many more KPIs than you would ever know even existed, including ADR, nights sold, um, nights available, but so many more ADR, or so many more um, metrics. They also provide a real-time view now of your Airbnb and VRBO offerings. And the subscription starts at 8,500, depending on your annual budget. They're also offering a 25% discount for UR partners. So if you would like to find out more about that, you're going to contact Chris Christmas. That's really his name. Um, he is with Key Data, and he is eager to help you with that. And we are really excited to see um, you all participate in these research co-ops. It's so much, uh, it gives us so much pleasure to be able to offer these to you, and we're so excited about the new ones mm -hmm. especially. So I think I'm going to turn this back to Brooks. There he is. Thank you guys. Look forward to talking to you soon. Chris Christmas. I love it. Um, you're not going to forget that. All right. If you're tracking along in the audience with us, we are moving into chapter 26 of your book. Hang in there. All right. Love the passion that everybody has for what they're talking about and presenting. And no one has more passion for what they do than Andre Neighbors with the Retire NC program. Andre, are you in the house? He has so much passion, he's not here because he's working on it in the <laughs> exhibitor ballroom right now. Um, so I'm going to represent some of the partner industry relations programs that you guys can participate in. Um, if you are interested in the Retire NC program, would like to learn more about um, taking part in the Certified Retirement Community Program, please see Andre. Um, he'll be around the conference. I've seen him already a couple times today. Um, but you don't have to be a, a CRC, as we refer to it as to take advantage of some of the programs that are also offered from a domestic show perspective. I think the ones that will be kicking off for this are in winter and spring of 2024, as well as a partnership visitancy, retirancy has with Ideal Living, where you can participate in Ideal Living shows, as well as digital online listings on, on IdealLiving.com. Um, Outdoor and Sea, this is an incredible program, also um, managed with amazing passion. 
by Heidi Walters and Amanda Baker at Visit NC, a program that started during the pandemic when everybody started going outside and encouraging all of our partners across the state to really take care of our natural assets that are the, many of the reasons why travelers and visitors come to North Carolina um, to take advantage of the beautiful surroundings that we have. And it's all our part to make sure that we are educating the travelers that are coming here about how to take care of this place that we call home. So if you have not signed up to be an outdoor NC, there's Andre, he came in, you heard me talking about him in the back. Thank you, okay. If you have any questions on retirement C program, see Andre. Um, but from an outdoor NC perspective, if you have not signed up to be an outdoor NC uh, partner alliance member, please see Heidi and or Amanda to learn more about that program. Um, we're able to provide you guys with um, education that you can use in your market on how to treat the outdoors, as well as from a co-op perspective, there are discounts that you can take advantage of on outdoor related um, programs. Some more uh, initiatives that you can take part in, the North Carolina Bound program that is uh, organized by Flip2. This is a free um, initiative that you can participate in to help attract travelers to your destination, but also for your lodging partners. Ed St. Ange from Flip2, it will be at the conference, so if you have questions about participating in this program, specifically speak with him. Um, also, you can see here in terms of how to join the URLs that you can learn more information. There's also more information in your booklet on this program. And our North Carolina travel guide that our friends at Dot Dash Meredith, um, Stacy Rossiter, is she here? Everybody knows Stacy. There she is in the back, Stacy. <laughs> if you have any questions about participating in the upcoming uh, North Carolina travel guide, please see Stacy. You can see that the, the opportunities for you to buy into are incredibly lengthy in the book. There's so many different ways to participate. And this is a publication that is adored and revered by those who um, have access to it. You can see some of the accolades that we covered in the brochure about travelers intent, those who have access to the travel guide and have read the travel guide, how much more likely they are to, to visit North Carolina. So thanks to Stacy and team for the incredible work. I did want to call out the early bird discount, so make sure you take note by July 31st to have signed up with Stacy to take advantage of that discount, okay? So if you are tracking along in the book, you're like, wait a minute, print's not next. Uh, there's a PR program. Um, our good friend Scott Peacock is much like Wit Tuttle in that they have backgrounds in public relations and no matter what their title is, they can't strip that PR hat as hard as they try. So Peacock will come up at the end uh, to wrap things up and cover off on the PR programs that you guys can participate in. So now I'm gonna turn it over to my good friend Nicole Maggio, who is our director of media at Luquire, to take you through all of the paid media programs that you can participate in from a print and digital perspective. I'm going to stand up here so that she can jump on my back, too. So you guys can <laughs> He's a funny guy, huh? Yeah, okay. uh, I wish I could say that I had something interactive planned since I'm at the end here, but I don't. So hopefully everyone is still awake. There's no prizes, no pop quizzes. Um, and before I jump into print, and then we'll go through the digital um, sections, these are all paid programs. And the kind of idea behind doing this is that one, media planning and buying is really hard, but that's why I have a job and you have me. So the uh, thought behind these is we've already curated, gone through all of the proposals from various media vendors, evaluated them, um, and made sure they were approachable and efficient for you. So. Let's talk through. Um, print calendar, I'm not gonna spend too much time here other than saying we have a fall and a spring flight for a lot of our print. Um, and we're gonna talk through what that looks like from a layout perspective. This is really nice because the quarter pages that you're able to buy into from a partner program um, perspective through all the vendors that we're gonna talk through, it's complemented nicely by that holistic visit NC message. Um, so it's a two page spread and it's really ownable. So the first one is Garden and Gun. So again, I talked about um, fall and spring, but the first three, you're gonna think I lied because it's mostly focused in the spring time frame. So we have February, March, and April, May issues. Um, here we have the quarter page spots that you're able to buy into as well as the full pages. So um, the world is your oyster, whichever one you feel fits your goals, um, but really nice glossy spread. 
Um, Southern Living is the next one, again, really focused in that spring time frame. Um, in April, there are four quarter paid spots, and then in May, we have an additional page, so there's an eight total. <clears throat> I'm not going to read all the circulation and the cost, because I know you guys have it in front of you, too. So, in the essence of time. Uh, Outside Magazine, again, March, April, and May, June, so they, these are the bi-monthly insertions. Um, but they're quarter page spots here as well, really nice. The first three, I think, that we just talked through are kind of the most popular. Uh, this is the new one that we added. We have heard from some of our partners, you know, we want to make sure that we're putting programs together that are beneficial to you. And one of the pieces of feedback that we heard was that, that there was an appetite for the bridal guide. Um, or at least the space, wedding planning. So Bridal Guide is the biggest name in um, the space, and we do have two opportunities, one in fall and one for March. Both of the editorial focuses for each of these um, insertions are destination wedding theme. So really nice national footprint to get people to um, potentially plan weddings here in North Carolina. And then we have our combo packs for print too. So for local market, we have a little bit of a change here. So Washington Post Magazine was um, originally part of this program. However, I don't know if anyone else knows this or if you were a subscriber, uh, they're actually uh, sunsetting that publication. So we've replaced it with the Washingtonian. Um, from an audience perspective, it actually works out really nicely. There's incremental reach here. And also it's a more affluent audience than even the Washington Post Magazine. So we're kind of upgrading. Um, so not all bad, and we're looking at fall and spring here as well. And so the costs for the combos are for insertions in all of the pubs within that combo. Then we have our smaller markets. Um, so we have a number of publications here. Again, the fall and spring spreads here. Um, and again, that cost is for a quarter page ad in all of the uh, titles listed here. And then in state, we have our state in Carolina country. We have uh, spring and fall insertions here as well. And then we have another unpaid partner testimonial. I don't know if Amy Scott, I know there was potentially some travel issues. Did she make it? Is she here? Of course. Ah, leave me hanging. Okay, well, I'm sure she would say really nice, great things. Um, so email her and ask her uh, what her thoughts. Um, and then from a digital perspective, so this is where I have the most fun. Print is great, I think there's always a place for it, but in the digital space, as we talk about Marlise's research and we talk about um, Christina's content, if you think about all of those sections, these paid digital programs really kind of wrap it all nicely into one. Um, everything's super customizable and measurable. Um, the first one we have is Sojourn. So I'm sure everyone here has probably heard um, of Sojourn. They were a new addition last year. Uh, but this is really great for targeting those in-market travelers. And when I say in-market, I don't mean they're here. I just mean that they're uh, planning travel or they have recently traveled. So frequent travelers. Sojourn has relationships with... Um, various uh, OTAs, so online travel agents. Todd, I know, I think I already saw him today. He's here, he is your rep at Sojourn. He would probably do a better job at this than I am. Uh, but they have a really great wealth of first party data available to help us really get that nitty gritty um, in market traveler hand raiser data. And as with all of the digital programs, everything is tailored to your audience and uh, there are multiple pricing tiers. So all of those details are in the brochure. There is an outdoor uh, NC Alliance discount for some of these programs, Sojourn being one of them. The other part that I want to mention about Sojourn is that there is economic impact reporting. So Marlise talked really great about um, a lot of the programs where you're able to kind of see how is your destination uh, or you know, campaigns actually performing. Sojourn, and then there's one more in this, um, this year's offerings as well, where you're actually able to see that impact real time without having to buy into some of the larger studies. So think of them as kind of the gateway drug into measuring your campaign performance, if you will. AccuWeather, this has been really popular in the past too. Um, I think the best part about this one is if you have something that's relevant for a weather trigger. So if you have a message that's say, 
on a day that's sunny and 85, I want to make sure I'm showing the beach, or I want to make sure I'm showing you know, this type of activity. This is a really great way to make sure your uh, message is super relevant to the person um, being served your ad. Campground and Wi-Fi sponsorship. So this is, um, so if you go to stay at a park and um, you want to log on to the Wi-Fi, this is a 100% share a voice, forced view video. So as you log into the Wi-Fi, you have to watch the sponsor message. Um, so really great way to get in front of people. There's no accidentally missing this um, if you want to get on the Wi-Fi. The other new part about this this year is there is an option in one of the tiers for um, display ads in the Chimney app, which is the biggest, or one of the biggest apps for exploring national park, national and state parks in the country. So a really nice option to kind of add uh, extra exposure. And the next two are updated. So we've always had a display and pre-roll option for you. Um, there are so many vendors in this space, um, so we've done a really thorough job of evaluating all of the partners we could potentially put in this program. Um, Casual IQ, I know John, I saw him somewhere. Uh, they have a booth. Um, and this is a really nice way to, one, be super efficient. They have a ton of experience in the travel space them, themselves. So really nice way to get some extra reach um, and frequency with a display and pre-roll cross-device program. as well as OTT CTV. So everyone knows, I don't know who still has cable. I think it's more popular than a lot of people want you to think. And I'm looking at Carol because Carol from Luke Choir is a big cable gal and she's, are you a millennial or are you Gen Z? You're a millennial, okay. Well, and <laughs> um, anyways, I say that to say that uh, a lot of people are cord cutting. There's such a fragmented space when you're going to look at what am I going to watch on TV tonight. And uh, this program really allows you to kind of not do cable, but from a streaming perspective, allows you to play in all of those spaces. So you're not just buying, you know, a specific platform. You're buying kind of across them all, which is great. This is the other one I was mentioning um, with the in-market spending. So Ad Theron, it's another um, pre-roll um, and display partner in the programmatic space, but what they have access to that some of the other partners do not is credit card spending data. So it's another way to tie your campaign efforts directly to in-market spending. Travel Spike is an endemic play, so they have first party relationships with a ton of travel publishers across the web. Um, and one thing about the digital space is it's, I could talk about this forever, but it's really hard to, bet, to really understand where your ads are going to be served from a programmatic perspective at times, unless you have an experienced media buyer that is curating all of your site lists like we do for these programs. Um, but if you go outside of that space, this is one way where if you have first party relationships with those vendors, you really know exactly where your ad's going to be and it's going to be super relevant uh, to your audience. So it's a really nice way to add, to make the ads feel more native in the environment themselves. And then from a paid social perspective, of course, we all have access to Facebook Business Manager and can put everything up ourselves, but if you are, you know, your bandwidth is low or your team is running um, on fumes, as we sometimes do, this is a nice way to have that paid social amplification handled outside of your team. Uh, but you can activate across Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Unified also, so had, they have a ton of uh, first party data here as well. I know in some of the uh, solution hubs, there was talk about first party versus third party data. And if you have questions on that, I'm sure a lot of people in this room could talk your ear off. Um, about all of that, but it's a really nice way to be able to leverage the first party data without the third party cookies getting in the way. Um, and this includes static posts, video posts, and story ads. And then new this year is streaming audio. Um, we wanted to be able to include this channel as an incremental touch point throughout this kind of multi, um, multi channel program here. We have uh, the ability to tap into both regular streaming audio as well as podcast inventory, and you can kind of pick and choose where you want to be based on your audience and your message. Uh, but both, I think, are really great spaces. This is only going to continue to grow. Um, one nice caveat here is that 
the audio spots can be hard to record. So if you don't have one in house, the vendor is actually able to um, produce it for you. So as long as you provide a script, there's no production necessary um, on your end. And then to complement some of our print programs, we do have digital extensions of those print titles. So Gardening Gun is one of them. Uh, we see a lot of uh, partners taking advantage of both the print and digital mixes of some of these, um, like Garden and Gun and Outside Magazine, for example. So these are site direct, it's a premium environment. It's a nice way to extend your message across platforms. Um, the other piece here that's unique to Garden and Gun is that we do have a homepage takeover. So really nice way to get in front of a lot of eyeballs. Outside is a dedicated e-newsletter program, so similar to some of the opportunities Christina talked about from uh, owning the Visit NC email, this is a way to own Outside's email. So again, a really loyal audience, opt-in subscribers, um, they'll build it in HTML5, and it can be 100% share of voice your message to the outside audience. Our state, so this is new. Um, this is a custom article opportunity. You can kind of see some themes with the owned uh, stuff that Christina talked about and some of our paid. So we're really focused on making sure that these programs are, one, integrated, and two, really relevant to how consumers are uh, spending time. So our state is willing to write a custom article in their own voice. So it feels really authentic to that environment and to those readers. Um, it's one article per season. And the article will be shared with three partners per article, if that makes sense. It's been a long day. Uh, our state curated e-newsletter series. Um, so this one's really great, too. Um, it's something, it's kind of a spin on a program that we did last year where it's updated to include a more curated feel to the e-newsletters. So there are seasonal themes. Um, it's a really nice way to offer the consumer not just a random e-newsletter, but it's really tailored to a specific topic. So some of the examples were uh, North Carolina site of the day, uh, North Carolina bucket list experience. It can be whatever. We can kind of tailor it to whatever we feel partners are most interested in. But it's a nice way to really round up seven or so partners and send out a curated e-newsletter versus just small inclusions in an e-newsletter that might not be relevant to your brand. Okay, bundles. I didn't see this image until today. I don't know who dropped that in there, but I like it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back before I show this. So bundles have been kind of a brainchild we've been talking about for the last year probably, where I know we've talked about so much today. I don't even know what time it is anymore, but this is a nice way to make it more approachable and to make it so if you come to the Luquire team and say, here are my goals, here's what my, you know, my business is, what should I do? It's not just gonna be, oh, just do this paid, or just do this owned. It's a really nice way to create cross-channel options that are really turnkey. So, the first one, um, and there are multiple tiers in each one too. So, uh, the DMO bundle options, we've kind of carved out three different kind of, uh, industry types, so DMO bundle options. These are more of your brand awareness tactics, um, and at each level it includes different variations of tactics that fit into that brand awareness um, KPI. Does that make sense? I see some nodding heads, okay. And we're happy to talk through some of these more um, as we go. Uh, the hotel and resort bundle options. So these are gonna be more focused on the travel deals. So you'll see like the owned website travel deal. You'll see the new seasonal roundup uh, focused on events and travel deals. So you can kind of see how these are tailored specifically to the category. Um, and then we have paid as well. These are not in your brochure. So this is kind of like a, um, a BOGO, if you will, if you attend today. Um, attraction, so this is really focused, kind of similar to the hotel um, option where it's still focused on those travel deals, um, but still includes some of the uh, awareness features from the first one. So I know there's a lot there and there's a lot to think about and take in. Uh, come see Christina, myself, Carol at the booth if you wanna talk through kind of how these bundles will work. 
um, and what you know the benefits of each one are, we can um, help you kind of navigate some of this new world of bundles. And I think I'm done, and I'm out of breath. So Scott, it's your turn. Thanks, Nicole. She did a great job for being in her second trimester, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's going to be raising a new North Carolina traveler real soon. So our public relations team couldn't be here as well today because they're out working on a fam right now. As you know, they never stop. So they're out with journalists right now that a lot of you will probably get the chance to meet at the media reception and at the marketing or at the... Um, PR roundtables that are going to be held tomorrow, but wanted to walk through a little bit about the programs that they're offering. So the domestic media missions, there'll be the in-state media mission, which has become very popular, and we love doing that event. There's also going to be some out-of-state mini media missions to travel markets that are of interest to everybody. Media pitch sheets that you can provide, so if you can't afford to go on one of the missions or don't get selected to go on a mission, you still have the opportunity to present your information in front of the journalists by offering a pitch sheet. And also offering some influencer pitches as well um, as desk side media tours. So and the desk side media tours is one that we wanted to put together because we know, for example, a lot of people used to enjoy our New York mission when we had it formatted differently, when it was a large event and there was all kinds of people there and you could get a real you know, sense of the space. That's not really going to come back. You'll hear more from them in their session tomorrow, but that's really not what journalists are looking for. So our decision to change those programs has all been driven by what's best to get media in front of you. That said, we know some people would still like to come up and do desk side appointments and sit down and have a more dedicated audience with journalists. So we wanted to find a way to offer that to you if that's something of interest to you. If the new format is not for you, we still can do this custom just for you in a market of your choosing. It doesn't have to be New York. I just use that as the hypothetical example. So those are some of the options that the uh, PR program has. If you're interested in learning more about them or participating in any of them, just email them at media at and that will get to them, or we can see them uh, throughout the conference and talk to them as well.